I started blogging in 2003 before YouTube even existed. It is with heart wide open that I share with you my journey that has taken me from South Korea to now living off grid in the middle of nowhere. Fucking busy! I made since December started I made more than eight thousand um, dollars it's an average of a thousand two hundred a day this is pretty good but I'm working like a fucking maniac and does my dad uh, my dad is retiring from the business uh, so now the strategy I may have explained it I can't remember but the strategy has to change I must ship from Korea instead of shipping from Canada this is an adjustment that will allow me to sell more jersey uh, because in Canada I was limited and I think I will be making more money like this too um, so now I'm I'm trying to make a system that I have some help because I can sell more jerseys than I can handle myself so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna try to find somebody to do what my dad was doing in Canada and a bit more so that really what's left for me here in Korea is administration preparing the shipping label like shipping list and uh, like the interface or like on, on the website on eBay managing eBay and uh, customer service that's going that's the business is successful because I've been really good at taking care of my customers and treating them well and um, no hassles for them this is and and the product is good so those t two things combined makes that the business is growing now and if I if I can only de, do that area of work for the business I will be able to sell I think a cap of about a hundred jerseys a day but then I need to make sure that the the where the people making the jerseys are ready to follow up to keep up with that but just in inventory, I had about forty thousand dollars worth. Um, we decided that's one thing that prompted us, my father and I, to to change the plans. Is it's, it was too much money that if something went wrong in Canada, so now we're focusing on. Uh, on decreasing that inventory to the point where there's nothing left there uh, we want to clear the whole warehouse we should succeed in doing this around mid-January or well, I will be close to that like if I want to sell more I have to minimize the amount of time it takes me to sell one jersey because uh, time is limited did you know that? Time is of the essence. Everything is measured by time. Because one day you live and one day you're dead. So the customers, this is one thing I learned. The customer is more important than the profit. You make a good, happy customer, profit will come. Even if that one time it costs you money. I think uh, Sunday was the last time I saw him alive. That was uh, when I said goodbye to him. 
he couldn't talk, but in his eyes and face, he kind of told me, <laughs> good luck, take care of my uh, daughter. But in a way that he understood, it wasn't easy. <laughs> Holy fuck, yeah, it was sad. I was almost, I had to work not to cry in front of him. Because I think he's afraid of dying a little bit still. He's not at peace with it. That, that's important. That when it's time to die, you're at peace. You accept it. I'll tell you something about things I'm discovering that come with money. Okay, cheers. Now, let's say I tell them, okay, today I made, in the last five days, I've averaged 1,200 per day in profit. They would be jealous instead of thinking, how can I do the same? You know, they'd be, they'd, they would envy me Instead of thinking to themselves, well, if he did it, it means I can do it, so how can I do it? How can I? This is a fucking very important question. You have nothing to envy to fucking anyone. The question is, how can I? If you find yourself envying somebody or being jealous, ask yourself, how can I achieve the same result? Fucking simple do the same things do them as well and it will get you will get the same result action reaction like I'm following I'm following you know Kiyosaki and <laughs> my brothers <laughs> Kiyosaki and oh fuck the other guy and fuck it works Yes, I'm going to be rich, but I don't want them to know exactly how rich I am. It's better. It's better to keep it like undercover a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to have a nice house, new car, but all the details of which house I, which houses I own or shopping mall or whatever I'm not gonna let them know I am gonna have to be very private about this and that's something that's gonna be a challenge for me because I've never been very private about anything so yeah I'm gonna have to learn to do that I'm gonna have to change that behavior I can do it. Alright, so that's it for now. I'm going to get uh, the car fixed and shopping. This is exciting. Have you seen it done before? That looks beautiful. I woke up to go teach at 7 and uh, I didn't turn down the music. And um, <laughs> I was at, at the bottom, I was in the car at the bottom of the street waiting at the red light and I saw, you know, <laughs> What the hell am I doing? I'm going to teach for fucking almost peanuts. And I have all this work to do. All my clients, they have to have their emails answered. I had 50 emails when I woke up. And I had tons, 27, about 27, about 40 jerseys in all to ship. <sighs> and um, 
I didn't work, like I said, fuck. I'm not going to work, I'm not going to teach, I don't have time. So I turned around, went home and started answering those goddamn fucking emails. And I answered to them with all I had, with all my best. Every single one of them I did, I treated like it was the customer. And I believe that's what makes the difference. And um, by the time this was done, it was, I did, I, you know, fuck, it was like past 11. So uh, I had to get started on uh, preparing the shipping for today. The shipping from Seoul, not from Quebec. The shipping from Seoul only. And uh, that was finished at about 1.40. And when that was done, I I hurried home. I, I, I went to Taiwan to drop those 27 bags. And then I came back. And now I'm com I went to get more jerseys bank and now I'm going back home to uh, let those 27 people that their jerseys were mailed and then once that's done I'll take care of the shipping in Quebec for this morning and answer whatever emails that are to be answered so that this evening I have caught up with everything and um, today at the post office I did get the labels with pre-filled our address is pre-filled so that's good I won't have to uh, <sighs> fuck I didn't think I could work that hard <laughs> But it's fucking working. My bank account is fucking growing like fuck it's crazy. That's good. I'm gonna succeed. I'm I'm not fucking I, I'm going for it. My body I, I that's only my body that's gonna fucking stop me. So my limit's gonna be my body, not my mind, not my heart. <laughs> I wonder what I'm gonna think when I'm gonna watch this in a few years. I did uh, two and a half hours of emails and I'm not done. So that's the emails that were there. Now, when I'm gonna come back after the fucking tun tun, I'm gonna have another fucking list of email. And now I'm starting to to not answer every email. I can't like I can't possibly answer everybody. Uh, the ones that I have to enter the code, I don't answer. I'm gonna have to work a lot tonight. I thought I could you know do some socializing but <laughs> I won't have time and uh, probably come Monday I won't have time to go to school teach I think that's pretty much over like now I have jersey at home that I even I I didn't even put up for sale because <laughs> I don't have time to fucking check how many I have for sale this is fucking crazy What's taking up most of my time is the fucking emails. If I remove the emails, I would be okay. But as I said, the email is what made, what has built the, the business. So I have to keep that. And uh, with my wife, it's fucking cold. She was trying to, to be nice when I was leaving and, but I, <laughs> yeah, it's gone too far I can't and I have to tell you something it's already fucking happening uh, 
we were talking and he told me about their night last night and how Mathieu, our friend uh, by Mathieu, uh, how he got his house got broken in and uh, thought they took a lot of things. They were professional. They 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 knew where to look to find things and like anyway they lost a lot of money and Matthew lost about two million in cash and um, among other things and uh, Denis was like saying well you know we were not like you we have to work hard to get two million and I said I said wait a minute do you mean I don't work hard to get two million I work fucking hard I was angry actually it's like he was saying that as if I don't work to get money that I get money easily I don't get money easily fuck I work like a fucking maniac all the time so I explained to him it's not that I don't work I don't work to get money it's I fucking work hard it's just I get paid better for my time I work and uh, I don't think he could under he was a bit uh, I think he took it personal a little bit that I was angry about this comment uh, because like he didn't mean but he didn't think about it and I don't think he understands what I was trying to say it's like it's <laughs> yeah I don't work hard I just told him well what did you do last night you went out you drank what did I do I fucking work until 7 a.m. so I don't know fucking shit <laughs> it took me four hours to go through my emails yesterday and when I woke up I had 40 emails I'm gonna fucking blow this is fucking hell it's not so bad to um, if I only had that to do like it could be done but it's that with the shipping with fucking everything oh, but really what am I complaining for my uh, my wallet is fattening at the speed yeah it's not the speed of light because other people have their had have had their wallet get fat much 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 quicker than this. and I'm not talking about winning the loto uh, the warehouse in Canada is uh, is getting smaller but <laughs> the one in Korea is getting fucking bigger so I need okay I need to uh, to get uh, a warehouse in Korea and my house my house is too small it's not gonna work so um, I'm trying I've already started checking things out to see if it's feasible how much it will be and what is the best location Whew. and uh, you see I, did, I don't even have time to uh, to shave I don't teach it's, but I don't have more time Wow it's a good thing I don't teach anymore and uh, the other day when I went shopping at midnight or two o'clock in the morning, I took the time to talk with Denny on the phone, and uh, disappointing, disappointing. Uh, he he was trying to say that uh, I could help him to uh, for him to sell jerseys. He was complaining his item was not good, but you know, what is not good is not the item, 
It's the way that he do things. He's not working hard enough. From my perspective, it's only my opinion. If you want to sell jersey, feel free to do it. But you're on your own. I'm not gonna help you. All right. So um, I'm so tired. Kyung Suk's dad has been at the hospital for a while. He's uh, he's tough, but is hanging by a thread so anytime now it's going to happen we'll see exactly when it will and tomorrow is my last day at Tun Tun and after that I'm officially uh, not a teacher and that will be very fantastic my last teaching feels good feels really good holy fuck I'm gonna be late but guess what this is the last time I'm late <laughs> when I get home I have uh, another 50 emails that is right the you take the shipping out, like the, the shipping uh, delays out, that's good. I can, just that would be good. And uh, we've had too many errors. Uh, errors and not sending the right jersey, not the right color. And I don't, I cannot find out where it comes from. Is it when the package, the jerseys are packaged? Or is it when they are sent? I don't know. But now, f from Korea, I will know. If there are still mistakes like that, it's because it's when they are packaged. So they will eliminate one. Um, and we should have less, less errors. Because the errors, not only they cost money, they fucking take a lot of time so it's not so much the money it's more the fucking time to handle the fucking situation so we're still ma maintaining the average of 45 jerseys a day <laughs> fuck can you believe that first time I sent 10 jerseys hello it's Christmas day 2006 and uh, tabarnak I have to fucking pay the price what price look at this god damn ah, that pisses me off fuck it pissed me off last year during the at the in the spring I was fucking thin and now look at this it's fucking disgusting I'm flexing and it's I've got a coating of fat all over my muscles are flabby it's not it's not what I want so to get what I want I must pay the fucking price and the fucking price is a <laughs> fucking price <laughs> this means I'm gonna have to fucking sweat I'm gonna have to eat less than I please tabarnak but what is more important to me is to have the body I really fucking want and it'll feel better so I'm going to uh, get back on track and let's see how long it will take cheers holy fuck it's uh, it's good <laughs> but 
I just uh, finished selling the football jerseys. It's paid. There's a deal of like sixteen thousand dollars, and I just uh, f I'm going to do a deal, another deal of almost five thousand dollars, like in one shot. Again today, I I sent the bill yesterday. The guy paid. It's leaving today. It's five, so it's a profit of like two thousand three hundred dollars. Boom like that in one day one deal but it's it's crazy so I gotta hurry up I gotta load the car with these five boxes this bag anyway I'm in a rush I <laughs> bye hello December 31 we're getting ready to go celebrate the new year Kyosuke is putting on her makeup I've already put mine on. Can you see? I have some foundation. Oh, that silver is annoying. Anyway, uh, I, I'm debating whether or not to bring the camera, but I will bring it. Just because it'll be better. Okay, Ben. Yep. You think I'm drunk? Yeah, extremely. Nice. Yeah, I'd like to feature in your documentary. You will so be in your documentary. Oh, for I okay. yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. 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 Hello. <laughs> oh my God. Let's go to Tin Pan. I, I'm I'm following my wife. Why? Don't say anything. You forgot I'm just a setup there. Yeah. No, I didn't. No, you didn't know anything. I'm drunk. We're going to Tin Pan. Okay, I'm. I feel bad because I didn't film as much as I would have liked but really I have a good explanation my life is getting boring well boring yeah because it's always the same wake up <laughs> prepare the shipping go to the post office come back send the emails to the people to let them know the tracking number then if I can do that quick enough then I have time to go to the gym and come back and answer emails <laughs> and start all over again yeah it's a big routine um, only on weekend because I don't have the shipping I get to save a little bit of time and uh, that extra time last weekend I spent it at Kyung Suk's family and uh, whew, that's difficult <laughs> because it's difficult because I'm there but I'm just wasting time you know I wish I was somewhere else when I'm there actually prefer not to go there ever it's not that they are bad people or anything like that it's just our worlds are completely different when I did the finance for the end of the year the net worth was over a hundred and twenty thousand but the sad thing is shortly after doing that I realized that in the kind of business I'm doing and I guess maybe in all businesses whatever you have in inventory 
doesn't count. It's like a car. You cannot count your car as your your asset. Your inventory is not an asset. That's what I figured out soon after I did that. And the reason why I, f I found out that your inventory is not an asset is because any day anything can happen to that inventory. It can burn, stolen, whatever. So what I did, because we needed to empty the Quebec the Quebec warehouse and I didn't want my father to get in trouble if anything whatever so I decided to give away everything and uh, I gave away for over ten thousand dollars worth of stock not what the stock is worth once it's sold but what it cost me to get it there and it felt good <laughs> yeah it felt really good giving I like giving and um, I hope to do that a lot more in the future so now I have about 50,000 Canadian dollars cash and uh, um, I've already started the, the process of uh, getting uh, a mortgage and I'm actually thinking of getting two mortgages to buy two income properties each each with uh, four units and so in 2000 my goal is that in this year 2007 I'm going to buy four houses which will what I would like to do is to have a total of four thousand dollars in passive income that's what I want this year